everyone. Seeing as this is the closest I'm ever going to get to winning an Oscar, I thought I'd make the most of it by doing a few thank yous. First of all, Ross, Amjad, Mark, Di, Benny, every host, Action Jackson. Just what an amazing above and beyond effort to make at an event that, that has so much impact on teachers across education. You'll never know the true value because everyone will pay stuff forward. So thank you so much for putting so much effort into that. How, Ross, how'd you get an MBE? Forget that, an OBE. We need to get you one of those. So just massive thanks for that. Um, also, it's nice to be a highlight of, of some people's nights. Thank you for that. And I think my highlight also is I've, I've definitely got a presenter crush on Jill Berry. Just every, the way she holds herself, the way she delivers, everything she says, everything you say, Jill, is kind of like, yes, oh, yes, oh, Oh my gosh yes so I'm definitely gonna be stalking you from now on and you're gonna be my guru virtually um, also Amjad every idea you have is like why am I not doing this that makes total sense and you give me the gift of my own internal WTF stamp which I've used three times since hearing about it so thank you for that um, Hannah Wilson is it possible to stand next to you without being inspired and galvanized into action thank you so much for everything that you've given me the information you've given me over the past kind of 24 48 hours I'm already formulating new plans so can't wait to get going with that massive thank you though to every single person who tweeted last night and and tweeted me or, or said something about our presentation or thanked me for it or oh my gosh for the followers I you know not feeling any pressure now to be totally entertaining the whole time but I'm I'm over I'm totally overwhelmed and anyone who tweeted me up to half past two in the morning this morning I've definitely read your tweet and I want to say thank you and I've replied to every single one I hope if I've missed you out tweet me and say you cow you didn't reply and I'll send you a tweet back but I, I just want you to know that every time I read one of those and I say oh Ed look at this and show my husband who's totally bored by now but it just it just really you know that you're you're acknowledging that what I did was something that was resourceful for you and that that means so much so thank you for that um, lots of you I've had lots of emails from people saying do I do talks yeah I probably should have mentioned it that is how I earn my living so yes I do go into schools I'm happy to come and do kind of you know motivational talks inset for staff and students um, and if you're interested in that please do go ahead over to my website and you can fill in the contact form there and let me know also should have mentioned this before but if you're into literacy or if especially primary literacy but also secondary if you're looking for any resources then while you're on my website which I'll put at the bottom it's just jazzamparfile.com um, fill in the box but if you want to stay in touch even just fill in the box because I send out lots of free resources and videos that you can just access and, and use in your classroom so please go ahead over there and okay. do that and lastly I just wanted to make it really clear I did mention didn't I that failure is about getting up again I did say because <laughs> I watched myself back and thought you're not being that specific about why we should fail you know it's the whole point at the if you're afraid of failure, your effort will only be here. If you're not afraid of failure, you can go a lot further. And sometimes it's that journey that the learning comes from. It's not about reaching the goal. Although you should always have a wildly audacious goal. So be authentic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity. Keep in touch. I'd love to keep this conversation going and have a fab germ-free Easter.